West End, where are we? We are at Bulk Barn getting some pink sugar. And Bulk Barn is, I don't know what I compare it to in America, but pretty much it's like a baker's dream where you can just get tiny amounts of things that you want and things that you need. And so if you're like, I just need a tablespoon of cinnamon, get a whole tablespoon of cinnamon or whatever it is that you need. Can you tell people what we're making? Yes, we are going to make some mimosas, but with a rainbow unicorn <laughs> touch. We got cotton candy ice cream, a little bit of product placement by Absolute Vodka, the champagne. We have the sparkly sugars, we have pink and yellow. <laughs> It's gonna make it glitter everywhere, it's fine. <laughs> We're going to a place called Beasts for Brunch. That's right. Cool. <laughs> Is that a shenanigan? <laughs> Is that a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like nervous I'm gonna do something wrong. <laughs> minimum, so shenanigans are allowed. Are allowed, point. just the yeah. minimum. Continuing with the Disney character theme, did you know that Bambi's mother used to be a model? Right, look right this way. There's a beautiful piece of artwork of a deer. Before Bambi, she said, man to the forest. I know what to do. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Potts made it. <laughs> Let's bring Chip into it. The shenanigans are not at a minimum today. I'm with Justin and Laura, and they are from my Dream 7 concert, my very first concert, three years ago. And so we came over to this amazing place called Sweet Jesus, and let's just say that our mouths have been blessed. Laura, what are you snacking on? A bit of a peanut butter chocolate caramel situation. All right, and then Dustin? That's the same thing, it's called a Sweet Baby Jesus. A Sweet Baby Jesus. <laughs> I got a birthday cake, and I got to make a wish and everything, and, um... It's it, amazing. Remember when you work in a minute? And then I'm gonna go to the gym right after this, so... I'm going for that video, too. <laughs> um, it's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's double brunch day. Eye contact. Are you having a moment? I am. By far the craziest egg penny that I've had. Yes! Offer me. I don't know where it's gonna go, but we'll find out. We'll find a place for it somewhere. It's night. We're actually gonna be going to uh um, Noir, yes, Katie, our wonderful line captain. She has a main reservation for Omar, which is winning. Uh, so Onoir is a restaurant there. So we're inside the restaurant now, and we're just like the seating area because you have to order and pay for your meal first because you won't be able to do it in the dark. Totally understandable, right? And then Weston, what are you thinking of getting? Uh, probably a nice glass of bread. Yes, but for dinner. Oh, I'm surprised me. I'm getting surprised. Weston and I are both gonna do that. We're gonna get a surprise starter, a surprise entree, and a surprise dessert. I just have to let them know that I'm allergic to chocolate. We, I can't take you in there because uh, it'll just be it's dark. It's dark. Does it start? Unless you got your night vision goggles on. So we just got out of the experience. We were in there for about maybe like an hour and a half or so. Couldn't see anything. But we heard all the conversations. The darkness brought out a lot of people. And it was quite hilarious. So it was something that anyone and everyone should do if they come to Toronto. We are heading out tonight to the CN Tower, which is the gigantic tower that's been disappearing on and off. Our point is one of our last nights here in Toronto. We're really excited to get to the ship. Um, starting in a couple of days, actually. It's like five days now, I believe. So, on that note, um, we're gonna get down on some really good food. I got three courses coming to me, plus two sides. It's gonna be primo. Till next time, see you in the next adventure.